Let's talk about 3D technologies. How have they had an effect and what are your most dominant tools? What are the most go-to tools that you have? Yes, and, and I think that's a, that's a good point. And when I look back, and so I kind of go back to the to the 90s when I look at when we really kind of in earnest started doing this stuff. Now, we did have a total station. Back then, it wasn't practical for us, except on a very few instances to do our own work. But we worked heavily with surveyors, and we were so used to commissioning these uh, total station diagrams. And when we had them aerial images, then all of a sudden we had uh, Google Earth, and we then had uh, uh, the ability with drones to get our own high resolution imagery. And then on top of that, photogrammetric uh, software came along where you can now take your uh, aerial imagery on the three dimensional side. The thing that changed everything for us was to do motion tracking. We had uh, and move matching and that changed everything because we could go to a scene we could camera we could windshield mount a camera or we could use a, a, a hood mount and so we could take our model and put the uh the vehicles and the witnesses in the digital video image and so three-dimensional video became more than the quote cartoon and it was actually premised upon a a, a, a video plate and, uh, and so that became very, very sophisticated in terms of the quality of the imagery. And then it kind of went back as more fidelity became achievable, we ended up going back to all three dimensions. We still do a fair amount of, uh, of move matching, but uh, it's become more practical and functional for us to build the whole scene in 3D and then we right. can do our own camera angles as, as opposed to being locked in to what we shot at the time. Uh.